Hey guys, today I would like to expand on the chromatic scale. In a previous video, um, I demonstrated the a chromatic scale on the E string, um, starting on the open string and finishing on the 12th fret. And the idea behind that was uh, you could take the notes, uh, figure out the letter names of the notes, take that concept and you could uh, transfer that over the entire bass. So this uh, video, what I'm going to do is um, break it down into three note cells or, or um, just three note patterns. And the idea is you will learn the natural note, uh, the sharp, and the flat. So each note has a, a natural note, a sharp, and a flat. And uh, it's just kind of expanding on that idea of the chromatic scale. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start third fret on the A string. So I know it's uh, third fret on the A. Um, also from the uh, chromatic scale, if I start on the open A, I go a half step. That could be called A sharp. I go another half step. That's B, and then another half step. And I land on C. So just from the knowledge of the chromatic scale, I can figure out that that letter is C. So what I was talking about before, like little three note patterns. So if you find this note C here, which is a natural note, if you take it a half step higher, that becomes C sharp. Go back to that natural note C, take it a half step lower, and that's C flat, and back to C. So if you find a natural note on the bass, third fret on A string is C, step, a half step higher, C sharp, natural note C, C flat is a half step lower, and then you go back to the, the root note. So it's a little exercise that you can do to learn C, C sharp, C, C flat, back to C. Okay? Continuing up to the next natural note, fifth fret on the A string is letter D. So if you go D, half step higher is D sharp, D, D flat, back to D. So you've done C, the sharp, the flat, the natural note. D, sharp, flat, D natural. E, E sharp, E, E flat, E. Going to the next natural note on the A string, which is F. F, F sharp, F, F flat, back to F. The next natural note on the A string is G. G, G sharp, G. G flat, back to G. The next natural note on the A string is 12th fret, which is letter A. So you have A, 12th fret, A sharp, A, A flat, back to A. The next natural note on the A string is B, which is 14th fret. B, B sharp. natural note is C. C, C sharp, C, C flat, and then C. And that natural note is a 15th fret, which is the octave. So you've uh, gone eight notes. So again, this exercise can be applied all over the bass. So it's good to find uh, natural notes on the bass. For example, third fret on the D string is F. You can do fourth fret is F sharp. Third fret is F, second fret is F flat, back to third fret is F natural. And it will, once you go through the exercise a couple times and just really learn the letters D, D sharp, D, D flat, D, then you'll start noticing the, the frets that have two letter names, and the, the musical term for that is enharmonic. Uh, so it's just the fact that um, 
these frets uh, have two letter names. So for example, fourth fret could be C sharp or fourth fret could be D flat. Sixth fret could be D sharp or it could be E flat. So keep that in mind as well. So just uh, kind of a review here. Natural note, for example, C. Take a half step up, C sharp. Natural note, C flat, back to C. And when you find natural notes on the bass, you can go half step higher, half back to the natural note, half step lower, back to the natural note. So for example, E, E sharp, E, E flat, back to E. Then all the way up, and you can do different uh, exercises with that, whatever you can think of, whatever you can make up, um, that helps you understand uh, the fretboard um, as much as you possibly can. So these are this is really good information to know depending on your situation. I've been in uh, various situations where I needed this information. Depending on your playing, you know, playing situation, you may not need this. But it's good to have under your fingers and and uh, uh, in your in your knowledge banks just in case uh, this, the the situation arises where you do do need this type of information. And you can, like I said, go over all the strings, G, G sharp, G, G flat, G, A, A sharp, A, A flat, A, B, B sharp, B, B flat, B, C, C sharp, C, C flat, C, D, D sharp, D, D flat, D. And you can go all the way up and just always think of the letter names and again, think of the fret name, fret numbers. So, well, I hope this uh, kind of may open up some doors uh, in your playing, uh, maybe expand on some ideas that you already have in the works, and um, hope you have some fun with it. Until next time.